Hello, I'm Peter Sammons. I'm Professor of Geophysics at UCL. Um, I work in what we call the Rock and Ice Physics Laboratory. Um, and my principal work here is to try and understand the physics and mechanics of Earth materials so I can understand the dynamics and evolution of the Earth's crust, uh, the Earth's cryosphere, and also even applications to, to the planets. Um, so what we do, I just take a sample like this. This one's, for instance, collected from the lava dome of Mount St. Helens. Um, and then we deform it at very high temperatures, up to 1,000 degrees centigrade. Uh, we fracture it and then try and understand the fracturing processes that lead to, say, a uh, dome collapse on a volcano. Um, and also do experiments uh, where we use highly instrumented jackets. So this is a, a specimen jacket I designed a number of years ago, where we can make a whole range of acoustic and electrical property measurements to look at the uh, signals which are given out as rock fracture. And to do that, we use something like this. This is a triaxial deformation cell. So this is a rock physics cell I designed quite a number of years ago as a postdoc. So in this cell, we can actually impose the pressures and temperatures of the, of the upper crust as we then deform and bust the rock, measuring uh, physical properties as, as we do that. We run a whole suite of labs in the Rock and Ice Physics Laboratory, so we can do uh, experiments on rock physics, on sediment deformation, high temperature rock mechanics, geophysics and ice physics as well, for which we have cold rooms. Uh, our labs we depend upon a, a large team of very dedicated people, postdocs, excellent research engineers. Uh, we have had many students go through the labs who have obviously done the research, contributed to the research, and have made us as the success that we are at, at present. Um, one of our key things that we always try and do is make measurements in the lab, which can be directly related to measurements in the field. So we do go, go out into the field, like this, for instance, a, take a gravimeter out of the field, but we will do uh, field work on uh, volcanoes, active volcanoes, on earthquake faults, um, on uh, ice flows in, in the Arctic Ocean. As we always believe it is essential to try and relate what we're actually doing in the laboratory to, to uh, real uh, physical uh, processes which we see in nature. So we have a, quite a wide and diverse uh, series of applications for, for our experiments. This underlying theme that actually trying to really get to grips with understanding the physics, the mechanics of earth materials it is core to our understanding of the dynamics and evolution of the Earth's crust and its cryosphere. <laughs>